Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today again I have come with a very amazing and unseen trick in uh, fluid uh, statics. Guys, this is original problem and it will be applicable in a wide range of problems, different objects, one single concept you can apply in uh, different different situations and you will be amazed to see this uh, result. And uh, let's discuss this uh, problem. So guys, this is our new logo. Very recently, I have discussed this concept in my classes uh, with my student. We had different uh, problem in the mind and we went ahead with that. And uh, then all of a sudden, uh, we realized like uh, that there can be an idea like this. <clears throat> so I have modified uh, further this uh, part. So an arbitrary shaped body of volume V and having a circular base of radius R completely submerged in a liquid of density rho, rho as shown in the figure find the maximum angle made by the force applied by the liquid on the curved surface so please uh, see this in this surface this curved part whatever is the net force we have to find its maximum deflection from the vertical all right and it is given that the body has different density and cannot stay in equilibrium so it is just random body and uh, in that case also we can apply and uh, uh, I'm not keeping it in equilibrium because in that case uh, rho liquid and rho solid will become equal but uh, this result doesn't depend on the densities. So let's discuss the concept part here. I have used this concept in one of the problem in a uh, few days back I uploaded. So you know that uh, the net buoyed force has two components one is acting on the flat surface and another component is acting on the curved surface so here we can say this buoyant force its magnitude is uh, known to us and direction also so it is uh, rho liquid into volume of solid immersed into g and it is opposite to gravity both magnitude and direction are known to us for this factor and i'm calling ff as force on flat surface so i'm using the trick here so those who want to know this trick can uh, access my theory lectures or uh, you will have these uh, it's pretty common result that uh, on a flat surface we can always write for uh, uniform density liquid that uh, pressure at the center of area of this into area of that object so pressure at that is uh, rho gh h is the vertical height from the free liquid surface all right into pi r square now we know that this force is going to be perpendicular to the flat surface and its direction is unknown to you the direction is unknown because we haven't given uh, the orientation of this object you can see here this is any it can be in this orientation it can be in uh, this orientation or it can be a cone it can be a hemisphere it can be any random object like this only condition we are i'm keeping here is uh, there is a flat surface in this and no boundary on this part so this result which we are going to discuss is completely independent of this boundary. <coughs> so now you can uh, see here this uh, one vector both a direction magnitude is known to us here magnitude is known to us but direction is unknown that depends on the orientation of the body and third one is force on the curved surface we have to comment on this part. Alright after this what we can do is. <clears throat> we can uh, construct a vector triangle you can see fb is the resultant of uh, these two forces flat surface and this here what i'm doing is i'm drawing this fb which is upward and i can choose this uh, force on flat surface in any direction i can choose all right because i i don't know how this orientation is but it will be always perpendicular to that fl flat surface so different possibilities i'm drawing here and uh, line joining the tip of ff and this force is going to be the force on curved surface it's a deflection we have to control and this is the resultant here so i can say here for maximum angle from the vertical you can choose any direction from here and similar concept i have taught in many cases i have used this in friction i have used this in uh, relative velocity i have used this in uh, rolling and this vector triangle method uh, uh, will be very mm, very much known to all the students i feel 
i hope it is known to you but it is in case it is not then uh, just check my theory lectures you'll find lot of applications of this where uh, we will not be doing questions by calculus instead of that we'll be using these vector triangles this is the resultant and i'm choosing this vector in such a way that here you can see if this line becomes tangent to this and from here from here till here this is the magnitude of fc in this particular situation and you can say this is the maximum possible angle which we can get because at all other places this angle is lesser than this there is one more orientation for this we will be getting this angle theta max so it is going to be same now this is very very simple we can directly say so if you know the concept all those things you don't need requ uh, to require you will just come to this part and directly within one minute you will be solving this question so for max angle from the vertical you can say sin theta max is nothing but force on flat surface divided by force by and force here ff by fb so i know the ff value <coughs> p at center of mass into area of it rho g is into pi r square and by and force is rho vg so this theta max comes as sin inverse pi r square h by v so this is a general result and till now in this result i haven't discussed anything about the body i haven't commented on the type of body in the diagram though i have taken parabola but in general it is applicable for any 3d body with flat surface so you can see here i am extending it to hemisphere volume i'll take 2 by 3 pi r pi r cube if i substitute here i am getting 3h by 2r paraboloid half pi r square into height that is i am taking as b because h i have taken from the center of mass of flat surface center of area from the uh, of the flat surface from the free liquid surface so this th in theta max uh, from here you will be getting sin inverse of 2h by b similarly for solid cone you can do volume will become 1 by 3 pi r uh, square into b height of cone sin inverse 3h by b we can have uh, tetrahedrons also we can have pyramid also we can have any random uh, object only thing is this logic you must remember and it will be you know, you'll be good to go i haven't considered uh, prisms and all but uh, prisms or ellipsoids those objects are also covered in this so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, problem guys uh, this information about jee mains 2022 Uh, since it has uh, you know we have got some little extra time here so you can write these free tests on uh, an academy these are like uh, rapid fire kind of uh, 30 minutes 15 questions and uh, 50 lucky winners will be getting surprise gift you can use my code nitin sir in order to enroll for these tests all right and uh, this batch evolve batch for je mains and advanced 2023 has just started there was the fourth class and uh, technically third class one was orientation so we will be completely covering entire 11th and 12th class syllabus in this all right we'll be covering entire <coughs> 11th and 12th class syllabus in this batch uh, and uh, by you can say november end so you can join me in these classes and uh, this is one of the best panel of uh, an academy who is uh, going to handle this batch and uh, yes there is another big announcement like uh, price hikes are coming very soon because very recently we have uh, it was like uh, <coughs> give away kind of uh, offer where uh, students have got 45 days of uh, an academy subscription and which are full of uh, awesome courses at least i i can tell you about my courses which you will definitely you'll find one of the best courses and uh, yes you can uh, you know before the prices uh, prices are going up you can join me on an academy for live classes that's it guys i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem and uh, if you have enjoyed this please leave a like share this video with others and uh, do let me know in the comment section if you have enjoyed this problem thank you thanks for watching it